16 pounds, five. Two ounces. It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. That's James Cromwell, Oscar nominated for his breakout role in the 1995 movie, Babe. Ben Mankiewicz talks with him about a life in acting and activism. So, At first glance, James Cromwell appears restful at his upstate New York home. It's a great place to come as a retreat. Closer investigation reveals that he's simultaneously restless. There comes a point in your life when they say, shouldn't he hang it up? Do you think about that? No. And why should he? The 83-year-old actor is reaching new heights. Familiar ground for Cromwell. How tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. I thought you were taller. Yeah. <laughs> for half a century, Cromwell, who's Jamie to his friends, has been doing what great character actors have done for a hundred years, making whatever they're in just a little better. You don't want it, Edmund, and you can't have it. In the last 30 years, Cromwell has played memorable roles in L.A. Confidential. What in the hell happened? The Green Mile, The Queen, and now Succession on HBO Max. No music, no chatter. Keep your mind on the driving. All coming after his Oscar-nominated performance as Farmer Hoggett in Babe. That'll do, pig. His considerable range as an actor fits for someone who began as a prince of Hollywood. His mother, actress Kay Johnson, starred opposite Betty Davis in Of Human Bondage, directed by his father, John Cromwell, a prolific Hollywood filmmaker during the 30s and 40s. But Jamie's relationship with his dad was strained at best. My father said very few things to me, most of them awful. He said something to me when I left college. I told him I was going in the theater, and he looked at me and said, well, don't be an actor, you're too damn tall. In 1951, John Cromwell's directing career ended abruptly. He was blacklisted, falsely labeled a communist. He could have saved his career by naming names to the House Committee on Un-American Activities. He refused and paid a steep price. A lot of his friends cut him. They wouldn't talk to him. They, they would turn their back on him. Mercifully, none of the pain suffered by the father kept the son from pursuing his dream. As soon as he comes to pick up the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. At first, success came quickly. I went out for my first TV series, which was All in the Family. I got that. Look at that, running a 50-yard line, close enough to hit a bones break. <laughs> I went out for my first movie, Nonsense. which was Murder by Death. I got that one. So I thought, oh, it's, it's the, the piece of cake. Why does everybody say how hard it is? That's right. <laughs> then I learned. <laughs> what did you learn? Uh, not much patience, uh, just to roll with the punches. The punches kept coming, including this body blow from director Blake Edwards. I went for an audition uh, for 10 and I came in and Blake was not feeling well. He looked at me and he said, what am I supposed to do with that? Eventually, directors figured out what Cromwell could do. Getting good parts got easier for Cromwell in 1995 after landing an allegedly leading role. Cromwell had less than 20 lines. The real star of the film was a pig. I got the role and I was not sure about it. So I said to my friend, should I go on this? He said, why not? He said, listen, you go on it, and if the thing fails, it's the pig's fault. It's the pig's movie. It didn't fail. Babe earned more than $250 million at the box office. Cromwell took to the role like a pig in show business. And 90 minutes in, Cromwell delivers a last line embedded in modern movie lore. That little pig. Yeah, it's sweet. Did you have to shoot the line a lot? Once. Once, that's it? Once. Once. I opened the gate, the sheep walked in. They erupted. So the, the difficult shot was done. Put the camera low. I said, where do you want me to take this to? I knew what I wanted to do. So James Cromwell looked into the camera lens to shoot the last line of Babe, but the face he saw reflected back wasn't his own. 
and I looked at, looked down and I, I didn't see me. I saw my father with the makeup, which is aged slightly, and the sideburns. And although I said, that'll do, pig, that'll do, what I heard was, that'll do, Jamie, that'll do. I got an acknowledgement from my father through my own performance for finally, finally showing up, ready to work, giving, not in panic, not in anger, just be there. Sounds like that was a fairly emotional moment for you. To hear him acknowledge me, to, get, to be acknowledged by yourself, to be acknowledged by, we call it talent, by, by what you're doing. He did it, he did good work, good, it's good work. Along with acting, Cromwell is known for his activism. He's been arrested a few times for protesting against an animal testing lab, a power plant, and most recently, he glued one of his hands to a counter at a Starbucks in Manhattan. He wants the chain to stop charging higher prices for non-dairy milk products. When will you stop charging us more for vegan milk? When will you stop raking in huge profits? Are you up on any... Any charges? No, not this time. Uh, they said, the cops said, as long as they, you unglue yourself from the counter, we won't charge you anything. If you insist on staying there, we are going to charge you, and then it'll be much more difficult. Now in his ninth decade, Cromwell is doing his best work, and he's not close to being done. You still love acting. That's fun. When it works, it's fun. I try to make it as difficult as possible, but... <laughs> when, <laughs> When it works, it's, it's a lot of fun.